What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Service power steering. Happening Z hood. Oh man, we're getting some stuff done today. Getting this truck out of the way. We're diagnosing a overheating PT Cruiser. And after over a month, I finally have parts for that Ram. I think it's a 2014 Ram 1500, formerly known as a Doge product. That one is dripping some fluid and it is leaking uh, from the electronic power steering assist module, which is the, uh, the steering gear. Not serviceable, unit must be replaced. It was a bear to locate parts. We had to buy the part for that thing, uh, I think out of, a, out of a dealership in Texas. Uh, other than that, it was on national back order for uh, a very long period of time, and I forgot my keys. I mean, they're not my keys, but they are the keys. I forgot the keys. Let's see if it's uh, gonna start. Long waiting periods of no running often can uh, drain the battery. I hope it's not dead. That's a negative. Fires right up. All right, moving on in. I've gone ahead and closed up the door of death. That way we can uh, assure a smooth transition into the building. Hello, Project Jeep. Oh, am I gonna make it? Yep, yep, so far looking good. We have cleared the door of death. And uh, we're set up for a, for a good landing right here in the lift. Good to go. And I think right about there looks good. Parking is the auto. Powering down. Pew. All right, we're gonna lift this thing up and go on down below. We have a new steering gear. It's right over there. Let's go ahead and pull the old unit out. Pop our new unit in. There we go. Okie dokes, the rack is set. Green subscribe button, engage. Moving on up. All the way up. All right, let's go down below here and take a look at this, uh, this leak that we're looking for. So here's our oil filter. Looks pretty dry. No leak from the pressure sender. Oil pan looks good, no leaks there. You guys see that? Looking good on this side. And down below, we were looking for a drip. And I do believe this is uh, the unit in question. You see some fluid dripping right there. It's almost looking kind of red, like right, right there. Anyway, we can see clearly it is the steering gear assembly. Lots of fluid, so we're gonna remove this unit, then we're gonna replace this unit. So stand by, this is gonna be a very good video. Okay, we're gonna need a thin wall socket because we have thin wall wheels. There we go. First things first, we're pulling the wheels, then we're gonna pull the outer tie rods. Begin rapid unfix. Tight squeeze in there. Was I missing one? Yeah, I took off four. I was missing one. Well, that's not okay. Roll. Wheel gravity. Seriously, there's a lot of gravity in this wheel. It weighs like 80 pounds. Okie doke. So, the new steering gear does not come with the outer tie rods. I'm assuming. I actually didn't open the box yet to look, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming words that <laughs> that it does not because they never do. So I'm gonna go ahead and break these gem nuts loose so I can remove these. And we're gonna go ahead and unbolt it and get them free of the knuckle, both sides. 21 millimeters. Super easy. Let's go ahead and get the puller out so I can pop this guy loose. It's gonna pull on, uh, well it's gonna fit on the knuckle and then push on the stud and then press that stud out of uh, out of the knuckle. It's a less uh, violent way of removing these so you don't have to bash them. Oh, look at that, never mind, it's already loose. Man, I'm trying to show off a tool in a 
Dodge embarrasses me. Look at that. Okay, let's see if we're just as lucky over here on the passenger side. What's the chance we'll get lucky on both of these? What do you guys think? You got to come apart? Is it going to be just as easy as the, uh, the first one? Sure. That was easy. Oh, real quick. I can do that. I was not hitting the threads. See that? Threads start here. I hit it right here, so that's that was okay. Completely acceptable. Alright, let's move on in a little bit. We've got the two big fasteners that secure the gear to the frame, and then I think there's we got a steering shaft up there somewhere. Yep. There it is. There's our steering shaft bolt right there. Let's go ahead and pull that guy out next. Okay, my icrometer tells me that's 13 millimeters. It might be a 12, but if it fits, it's going to work. Yeah, that's turning. Good. That thing looks like it's uh, rusted on there pretty good. Hope that doesn't uh, end up being a problem. I've got good access to it, so I can always try to chisel it off or get at it with a pry bar or something. Right, let's get this tool back and go in there with a brush of ratchet. You gonna fit? Sure. It's kind of crusty. Okay, let's see if we can't get this thing to, to come off of here. Let's put a little pry bar on it. And just give it some love taps. It should go. You gonna go? Yep, it's gonna go. Beautiful. Okay, moving down below, this is our steering gear and this whole assembly right here. We've got two connectors for it. One which is, I believe the command, or the, the controller connector, and this is the power supply connector, which that one's not even tight. All right, that's cool. That was easy. And the clip on this one's broken. See that little red clip? Broken on, uh, on this other connector. But I can fish it out with a pick. It's gold, so you know it's good. There we go, got it. I think I got it. Yep, definitely got it. Okay. All right, back around to the front. Let's get the two big bolts off and this unit should drop free, no problem. Easy peasy. All right, we need 24 millimeters of impact socket. Loud noises. not what I wanted to see. That is. What is this? What? Okay. I believe this is formerly a New York car, hence the patina. I'm going to spray this uh, on the back side of this bolt at the steering gear. Let's see if it can't uh, encourage those threads to loosen up a little bit. Manual on kicks. Oh, I feel like I'm going to pull the truck off the rack. It's not good. Oh, it's starting. We're going to win. Again. Very good. Number two. Okay, the unit's free. It's just being held in with the, with the tie rod sitting on top of the steering gear. Or uh, the steering gear, the sway bar. The tie rods are on top of the sway bar. Words. All right, so what we're gonna do, 
I'm going to pick this up and over. And we're going to get it off of this, uh, this sway bar. Yeah. It's heavier than it looks. Ooh, I need to pull this tie rod off. It's too long, I can't get it to fit. And since it's too long, we must shorten it. Is this gonna work? Hmm, not from this side. Move it on over. This one's looser. Oh, gravity. That's why we put the nuts back on studs so you can't uh, damage them. Uh, I'm aware that there's no threads there. I already said that, I'm aware. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try this again. We'll move it out to the, towards the driver's side. There we go. Now we got our system here. Woohoo! Nasty unit. All right, steering gear, you're coming with me. Still make sure this thing fits. Here's our new one. Uh, what do we got here? An unboxing video. Ooh, shiny. Man, it's the wrong one. Look, the steering shaft is on the wrong side. Can't believe it. I'm just kidding, we fixed it. All good. Oh, what? Look at that. I had to say something, look. It came without our tie rods. Get out of here. All right, I'll take that. Cool. All right, let's get this thing unwrapped and uh, we'll double check and just make sure it's an exact fit. And then we'll go ahead and get it installed. I, uh, I do not know if this needs to be programmed or not. I'm sure it needs to be recalibrated. I may or may not have to take this to the, uh, the dough dealer and, uh, and get them to do it because I cannot program Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram products. Unboxing complete. Let's toss this old one back in. There's a core charge on this, which means this must be returned for remanufacture. New unit's looking good. Let's go ahead and get her installed. Oh, all right. Steering gear cam. Ooh, it's heavier than it looks. It's because it's aluminum. Lots of metal. Okay, if memory serves, which it doesn't, it went like this. And then, we're stuck. And then like this. There we go. That's how she went. Heavy. Okay, back on top of the sway bar, and I missed that side. Hang on. Let's get these connectors out of the way. I don't want to smash those. Up, up, and on top of the sway bar again. Safe. Let's get a couple bolts in. Oh man, that's heavy. It's not terrible, it's just awkward. Yeah, that's one bolt. How about that second one? And uh, two bolts. They're threaded. Good. Clearance, clearance, clearance. This goes over there. 
That one goes right there, good. Let's go ahead and run those down. Loud noises. Cool, unit is secure. All right, let's see what we can do about this uh, steering shaft. So kind of farther, far back. So we've got a flat right here. There's a notch right here. Can you guys see? There's a notch right here and a flat right here. The notch is to accommodate the bolt and then there's two flats. Yeah, I zoomed in a little bit for a better look. You can see the notch, one flat, one flat, two flats, and then a notch for the bolt. So this needs to turn slightly. And we'll push it back in. And pull it down. It's, it's going. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. This shaft is always, in my opinion, the, the hardest part. Sometimes they just don't like to go together. Oh, and since this one was rusted, I felt it was going to be a situation like that. Let's reach back in there again. Need additional clicks. Yeah, that's already pretty tight. A little bit more mm, clickage. Okay, good to go. Let's get out of here. It's hot down here. All right, new tie rod going in. I took a rough measurement of how long the stud was at the nut on the old unit, and I'm just matching that up with the new one. It's a kind of a way to get them close, since I don't have an alignment machine and this will have to be wheel aligned. There we go. Let's get our nut nutted. Okay, off to the passenger side, and we shall repeat real quick like. Oh, I didn't measure those, hang on, it was, it was two of those fingers to the nut. That looks actually pretty close. I'll take that. It's getting aligned anyway, but I like to make it close. Hmm, I see people walking outside. I see you. Hmm. High rod gravity. There. That's just butamous. Right there. I hear you whistling. Get in there. Nice. All right, this is getting, uh, well, it's coming to conclusion real quick, or fruition. It's coming to something. We've got two connectors left to connect. Can't lock that one in because the lock's broken. Right, that's locked in. Good to go. Let's lift this down a little bit. We'll throw the wheels on. Restocking the engine. Uh, we'll see if this needs recalibrated or programmed, and then we'll go from there. And real quick, so I don't forget, I want to tighten down or snug up those jam nuts, because I, I will forget. I remember getting alignments into the store with loose jam nuts, and it, it always upset me, because I knew that they drove the thing there, which means they drove it uh, unsafe. Yeah, that displeases me. Here, let's just uh, double check these threads again. We've got one little finger of threads left over on that side and this side's got oh, one little finger of threads left over. So that's fairly even-ish. That's even enough. Let's get out of here. Ram coming down. All the way down.
into the cabin. Let's go restocking the engine. We'll, ch we'll check for codes, warning messages, etc. And if that's all good and we don't need to do any programming, we'll send this off to the dealer or uh, to the alignment shop. The dealer. And uh, and then we're all set, good to go, mission complete. Restocking the engine. Let's check it one more time after uh, one more key cycle. What do we got? Oh, is it my lucky day? I may just have to relearn the yaw sensor and we're good. It's not thrown in codes. Perhaps it does not need to be programmed. Let's go take this out on the road and drive it. See how straight I got the steering wheel just by uh, eyeballing it. And then uh, we'll go from there. We're clearing the door of death. Looking good. Looking good over here on the Jeep side. Looking good on the compressor side. Yeah, this... This is an art. Getting in and out of this big stall with a long truck is a, that's an art form. But I'm getting good at it. There we go, smash! Knock the Jeep off the rack. Oh, what a disaster that would be. And we are clear of the trash pile. All right, back now. Uh-oh, what do I find here? Look at that. Defeating safety devices. Test, test. You know better than that click it or ticket and uh and this doesn't count i mean that's clever i can appreciate it but uh i'm not supposed to do that cool beans still no warning light let's get it out on the row ad this is the worst spot to make a right in a truck because you end up in the grass all right i'm a little off on my wheel alignment no worries but we appear to be pretty good uh, with the warning light. I need to definitely make some adjustments out of this one. Uh, maybe I'll let the alignment guys do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this video out. And uh, I will do that by thanking each and every one of you for watching this video. As always, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to let me know about that by tapping that like button down below. If uh, you did not enjoy this video, then uh, let me know about that constructively in the comments section also down below, and then I can use your feedback to uh, do a better job. So again, and as always, thank you for watching, and most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. End of Doge Ram steering gear. Hey, you guys. What's that tower thing right there? Is that like a a gunshot detector or something and it appears to be just a pole it's got a power meter on it some kind of box and then it looks like speakers or microphones up at the top it doesn't look like a cell phone tower because it would I mean, you'd think it would be taller is that one of those gunshot detectors let me know also in the comment section below